So welcome to the RStudio development environment for R. The default format of RStudio comprises of four separate windows. The first window is the console where the hard work gets done of executing code. However, we can write code up here in a script window, in which case our code is not implemented until we decide to run it. And one way to run it is to simply press on this button of the highlight code. On the right hand side, what we have is the global environment, which describes the nature of all of the variables that we have defined and allows us to import data sets very easily. And down beneath, we have a plotting area where the particular output of uh, relationships can be plotted out, and we'll see that in use later on. We can also use it to get help about particular uh, functions in R. So let's begin by writing directly into the console. I'm going to define A as a variable, let's say, 3. When I set a equals 3, the first thing you will notice is that the variable a appears in the global environment and it is given the value of uh, 3. Down beneath in the console, I'm going to simply say, well, what is a? And one way to ask that is to simply type in a and we will get the answer 3. Now, we could equally have written some code in the script area. So if I go a plus 2 times a, then if I press return, nothing will happen. You will see that nothing has arrived here in the console. However, if I run this particular code, as you will see here from highlighting and run, then what we see is a plus 2 times a, which is of course 3 times a, which is 9. Now let's do something a little bit more sophisticated. Up here in the script editor, I'm going to define x as a variable, and uh, the variable will actually be a vector. So instead of x taking a single number, it will actually in this case take 10 separate numbers. This is a range of numbers all with the same quality, in which case they're called vectors. So when I run this little bit of code here, what we will see is that over here x is defined here as the integer going from 1 to 10 and down below we have it implemented there. We can of course ask what x is and I will do that uh, here run that code and you will see down here you get x equals 1 to 10. Now let's have a look at uh, defining another variable. Let's define y say as 21 to 30. We can of course implement that code here and define y as 21 to 30. Now we can do something a little bit more interesting. Let's plot that relationship out between x and y. Here we can run this code and hey presto in the graphics area here we see the relationship between uh, y and x. However Let's see if we can get some help about plots because it may not be entirely apparent how to change these labels here. So we can simply go up here and ask for information about plotting. And here what we can see is that plots have a variety of arguments. Here we can change the lines, the main, ah, we want to change the X label and the Y label. So let's say we now move back to our script here and we add the argument here to our plot xlab equals let's say height and then let's add the Y lab for the Y label
and we will run that now again. Now well, what you will see is that we get a nice graph but this time with height and weight as our individual axes. The nice thing is that we can save these images either as PDFs or as a variety of different formats uh, and copy to the clipboard and copy into our individual uh, programs or, or scripts that we are writing. Okay, now let's have a look at how we might save all this. Of course we've got a history. We know what's happened to our individual analyses uh, here. We've got all of these different windows. We can save them all by simply hitting uh, this uh, program here and we want to save that all in my project which is uh, my great 